Peace. What's going on? Good evening, good afternoon, good morning, and all that good stuff all around the world. D minor L here. And uh it's another episode of Crypto Walk. Welcome back. Good to see you. Look, before we get started, right? What I need you to do is one, make sure that you like, share, and subscribe. That's right. Make sure you like share and subscribe that way we can keep the youtube algorithm going facebook algorithm going and all that good stuff to keep this information getting out there to everybody in the world who do not know about this wonderful thing we call crypto now today i'm not gonna hold you for too long this is the second part of our cryptocurrency session and today we're talking about three forms of use case now, there are several other forms of use case, right? But we're going to talk about three main forms of use case. So, look, go ahead, like, share, and subscribe. Also, go ahead and grab your pen and grab your pencil, right? Excuse me, your pen and your paper so you can go ahead and take some good notes, all right? I'm going to give you a chance to get everything situated. Then we're going to go ahead and get started. Once you have your pen and your paper, uh, put a Y inside the comment section. And also, look, if you cannot hear me clearly right now, let me know in the comment section. If you can't hear me, let me know. But if you can hear me, please put a, a yes, I can hear you loud and clear or something. If you're inside the Smart Systems group, right, go inside the Smart Systems group and put I'm on Crypto Walk. Let everybody else know that you're on and that they should be on too. So in our last session, we talked a little bit about cryptocurrency, what cryptocurrency was, how to get a wallet, how to protect yourself, and whether cryptocurrency was a safe investment or not, right? But, uh, and I mean... We covered a good little bit, but we didn't cover a uh, use case. You know, crypto is just like digital stocks. Um, what is something that you like, right? What industry do you like mm-hmm. that you that you that you that you find that piques your interest? Find that cryptocurrency. That is the king of that industry or, you know, doing something in that industry. Um, one of my favorite cryptos is Sidecoin. Sidecoin is uh, my favorite because it deals with securing your data. Um, you know, it, it, it really is in competition with, you know, cloud storage and Google Drive. Is giving people a more secure way to secure their data and their information that is important to them. You know, it's a great way to secure your, your seed phrases, you know, pictures. I mean, anything you may hold near and dear to your heart, any information you may hold near and dear to your heart, you have uh, Sidecoin. You can actually go to mysidecoin.com and check out Sidecoin and read all about them and its use case. All right. But the three forms of use case that we're actually going to talk about today is a little bit different from Sidecoin. The number one use case is banking, banking the unbanked, becoming a store of wealth for the unbanked. And that is what Bitcoin has done. Bitcoin has become a store of wealth and its value is the fact that it is independent from traditional banking systems. It is independent from uh, uh, the, 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 the government systems that we've known for such a very long time. You know, we, we, we struggle with, you know, economic instability and hyperinflation, dealing with all these other different currencies. 
And just like gold, crypto, Bitcoin has become that store of wealth that you could lock down some wealth in. Now, yeah, you may have some fluctuations from here and there. It may go from one spot to another, a little bit of volatility. But at the end of the day, Bitcoin is still outperforming the U.S. dollar. And in fact, there was actually just a study that just came out that just stated that cryptocurrency could replace uh, fiat currency. And just to name a specific one, the U.S. dollar. Now, another use case for cryptocurrency is decentralized applications and smart contracts. All right. Now, Bitcoin started the revolution inside of this crypto space. You know, Bitcoin changed the game, the way money, you know, moved, the way we thought about money, the way we, we thought about the store of wealth. Bitcoin laid that foundation. However, Ethereum has created a true industry, right? A true industry that is, it has decentralized applications and very smart contracts, right? And we know smart contracts like, you know, the four sides of the world, you know, BitLocity, you know, uh, Daisy, some of these other smart contracts. We know smart contracts as in systems where we've been able to achieve great financial um, prosperity from sharing these op these operations with people. However, smart contracts is just simply the operation of a cryptocurrency. And a smart contract is, is cut and dry. It's, it's simply this for that on the smart, on the blockchain. So example, let's go back to Forsage, right? Forsage, smart contract, this for that. When a code of the smart contract is executed, something else must, must happen that is encoded in that smart contract, whether that be distribu distribution of payment or upgrades or whatever the case may be. With smart contracts, once they are written, right? Once they are, enco are encoded, they cannot be changed they cannot be altered they cannot be manipulated right so smart contracts are a way of executing a agreement between two parties on cryptography or in the crypto space utilizing those codes and the blockchain and like i said ethereum ethereum pretty much paved the way for all other cryptocurrencies when it comes down to dealing with smart contracts. You know, you got Cardano smart contracts, you have Solano smart contracts, you have um, uh, 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 Binance smart contracts, but Ethereum, like I said, is pretty much, it's the leader of the game. It's the, it's the world computer for decentralized applications. And there are several companies that are actually looking at using decentralized applications. Samsung to be um, one of them, to name one of them. Samsung is actually uh, 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 applying smart contracts on its on its cell phones and um, and uh, and uh, devices. Internet of Things. Internet of Things is, is another uh, use case for smart contracts. Uh, Internet of Things is a network of machines and services and, and, and resources that are shared amongst each other. So when you think about Internet of Things, you're talking about uh, smart cities, example. You know, smart cities is cities where you have computer devices and machines that are literally sharing information and trading services amongst each other. An acronym for Internet of Things is IOT. All right. Uh, the IOT project behind uh, uh, 
several programs like uh, Tango, which is an open source, uh, open source distributed ledger. You know, it's a network, network of smart contracts, networks, a network of computers, a network of various machines and services that are being shared to create one large network that works all together. So with with cryptocurrency, I right, you have the banking for the unbanked, which beats out the traditional uh, banking system. You have decentralized applications and smart contracts, and then you have the Internet of Things. Now, there are some other uh, use case for cryptocurrency. You have NFTs, which is art. Then you have digitized metals. And then you have stable coins. Now, I wasn't going to talk about only but three, but I feel compelled to talk a little bit about stable coins. Now, stable coins are cryptos that are pegged to fiat currency, okay? Um, so let's say you have the U.S. dollar, right? You have USDC, you have USDT uh, that are pegged to the uh, U.S. dollar. So that means that their value is going to remain a dollar or 99 cent or dollar one. You never really see it go past a dollar one, dollar two. You never see it go no lower than 99 cent, 98 cent around that area. So, you know, stable coins, there's a strategy when it comes down to investing in cryptocurrency. I'm going to talk about that a little bit as well. But when you invest in cryptocurrency, right, and people say, well, bit, you know, Bitcoin and Ethereum and all these cryptocurrencies, they, they're just a little too volatile for me. They do a little bit too much moving. Well, I mean, you could take your earnings or your profits from your Bitcoin or your Ethereum, right? You could take those profits and you could store them inside of a stable coin. That's right. Store them inside a stable coin and hold your value till you get ready to reinvest again or get ready to use your cryptocurrency. All right. So, like I said, today, today's session really wasn't going to be that long. I wanted to cover a little bit about use case. Um, uh, uh, when we're talking about cryptocurrency, um, industry disrupting technology. When you're thinking about cryptocurrency, right, and making your best move to invest in the crypto, you want the crypto that is that is going to be a disruptor of its own in that particular industry. Like I said, Sidecoin, Sidecoin, and Filecoin, those are disruptors of the memory and 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 storage industry. Ethereum, that is a disruptor of 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 these of these industries that we know today, like you know, Apple and you know Microsoft and all, the, all those other programs. You know, Bitcoin. Bitcoin is a dis a disruptor of the traditional uh, banking system. So when you get into cryptocurrency and you start making these investments, you have a number of things that you want to take that you want to take note of. Use case, industry disrupting technology market cap, supply, and the security of your crypto, ladies and gentlemen. Cryptocurrency is very, 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 very simple. It doesn't take a whole lot. It doesn't take rocket science. All you have to do is dive into the information. Now, look, if you would like to get more information and more in-depth training about use case technology, Block of industry disrupting technology and cryptocurrency and the blockchain. I would advise that you go ahead, you sign up, get into the smart systems family, 
That way you can get access to all the crypto walk training. And and you can get access to myself as well, where we can have one-on-ones and we can sit down and we can discuss these cryptocurrencies, the best route for security, decentralized wallets. That way you can have a full understanding of how this works. Now, yes, I'm sure you could go out here and you could study on your own, but a guided study is always much better. A guided mentor is always much better. And look, we're not here to bust your head. I promise you we're not here to bust your head. You understand what I'm saying? Make make the investment. You know, you made the investment for, for school. You made the investment for college. This right here is an investment in knowledge that is going to pay you forever and ever and build wealth for generations to come. Thank you all for tuning in. And look, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Like, share, and subscribe. And catch us next week on Monday and Wednesday at the next Crypto Walk. Because next week, we're going to be talking about smart contracts. And that's when we start getting into some opportunity and about and, 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 and start studying some ways that we can make money from home utilizing blockchain, cryptocurrency, smart contracts. I'm D. Thank you very much for tuning in. Peace.